friends. Let's see where they what goes on from here. They are now at the geo front. B sector. Ew, robots. Ah, shit. My turn. Take this. It's my turn. There. Oh, what a relief. Where you going? Where you going? Huh. Everyone ready? Sit! My turn. Huh. Now! An opening! It's my turn! Ugh. It's my turn! Take this! It's my turn! Ugh. Take this! Leave it that to me. Mistake. Huh. And you can stick up on that boy okay? like that. Trying to sneak up on my boy. Those big ass things. Yikes. 
There is more to it than what meets the eye. End it too too soon. I still haven't gotten used to this. Think about how Alyssa and Emma feel, pal. That's a nice looking treasure chest. Huh? 
like a badass. Our chance! Sit! My turn. Huh. Now! An opening! Yes! Take this! I'm going! Uh. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Like there's even more. This place is way too complicated. That's likely why it was used as an escape route. Let's hope we don't get lost. The mana here is a little stagnant. Be careful. Uh, sit. There. Huh. Yeah. Hey Dang it, she says. Sometimes that cat can get on my nerves. Enemies approaching. Please be careful. Uh, let's make it smooth. Form down. Yes. Huh. Now. An opening. <laughs> that was great. 
Just like I remember. Yeah, just like old times. Or Ouroboros' plans, which sounds sinister in nature. Could be about world domination, or destruction of the world. Usually it's destruction of the world. Wonderful looking treasure chest. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Sit. Sit. Yeah. Huh? There.
boy. Let's go. Yeah. I'm up. Huh. Leave it to me. There. Yes. Uh. Leave it to me. Huh. I'm up. Sit. It's my turn. Take this. I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Treasure chest. <laughs> yeah, this. Good spot to rest. Ain't no rest for the wicked. system activate accessing phase space deploying avatar Uh-oh.
This can't be good. Turn there. Let's go. Yeah. This is the blade of the eight leaves. Here it is. teacher.
Yeah, last year. When Calvert attacked, he saved us. We fell out of the car, but he used his big toy to protect us. Yuna was with us when it happened. A big toy. <laughs> uh, poor Valamar. Yuna, you should at least eat some breakfast. I brought you some porridge Sandy made. <sighs> Louise and Jessica are worried too. And not just them, the entire branch campus is concerned for you. Ourselves included, of course. Why? Why didn't you two go with Instructor Rain? Didn't you want to go? Of course we did, but... We didn't think it was right to leave you behind. <laughs> you may already be aware, but I was originally meant to attend the main campus. I would follow the same path as the other members of the Vander family in serving the Imperial family. I never once doubted that I would one day be given the honor of being appointed aide to Prince Cedric. However, last fall, the government suddenly decided to relieve the Vander family of its duties. The honor of protecting the royal family should not be monopolized by the nobility, they claimed. My brother was then shipped off to the outskirts, my father and uncle buried in military busywork, and I suddenly found my life's purpose gone. And so, I made a rash decision and switched to the branch campus at the last minute. <sighs> Kurt... To be perfectly honest, I barely knew a thing about Crossbell before this trip. At first, I thought being annexed into such a powerful country as Erebonia would be a relief to Crossbell citizens. However, pride in one's home isn't that simple. Compared to the helplessness you and the people of Crossbell must feel, my troubles seem like nothing. Once I realized that, I decided I couldn't leave you here alone. I have trouble understanding why you're feeling like this, Yuna. I never had a hometown, nor was I born from biological parents. I suspect I was created so as to experience as little emotion as possible. What? <laughs> but hearing you last night, I experienced a strange feeling in my chest. Then, Instructor Reen asked if I was okay leaving you here alone, and... That is the reason I am still here. <sighs> Ali... I... Unlike you two, I don't have a good reason for staying behind. I know what I should do. Regardless of what's going on, I just need to grit my teeth and keep moving. I know that, but... My reason... is just my own selfishness. Hmm. 
Interesting. Ah, oh, nothing lights a fire in my breast quite like courage in the face of insurmountable odds. Uh-oh. I shall join you on this quest of yours. We are in It's the Debaucherous Prince. It is a pleasure to see you once more, my dear Tio. Also, I'll have you take care to say my name properly. I am the drifting poet and seeker of love, Olivier. You wouldn't do for passerby to mistake me for the famed debaucherous Prince of Erebonia, <laughs> now would it? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, they're far more preoccupied with Alfin at the moment. That naughty debaucherous prince has gone off on his own to play with Mishi in the theme park. A bitter thought though it may be, I've benefited from the absence of a certain constantly fretting bodyguard this time. Ah, but it is because I am a member of the royal family that I must do this. You see, my position prevents me from speaking out on behalf of Crossbell. Thus, I have no other choice but to turn to action this day. Otherwise, I would not be able to face the people of Crossbell I have come to know and love. Upon my telling this to Alfin, she could do little but sigh and agree to my escape scheme. I also come bearing a message from Elise Turin. She wishes you well and says to stay safe. Thank you, Prince Oliver. Class 7 as well. On behalf of Randy, Ellie, and Lloyd, please protect Crossbell from this disaster looming over it. Yes! Yeah! A year and a half ago, the Empire took over Crossbell without any bloodshed. Of course, Calvard wasn't about to let that stand. Their military strength is about even with Erebonia's. Calvard's armored aviation divisions are full of highly mobile tanks and gunships. They invaded Crossbell to try and drive out the Imperial Army. The Imperial Army held them off with their Panzer Soldats, but during the first few battles, there were a number of gunships that broke through the front lines. Because the occupation was so sudden, most of the citizens were in a panic. Most people fled the city, hoping they'd be away from the fighting in rural towns or remote mining villages. We had the same idea, and tried to at least get Ken and Nana to safety in Armorica village. I had just gotten back from the police academy, and got an acquaintance to help drive us to the village. That's when it happened. On the way there, we encountered a Calbardian gunship. It was hit by Imperial fire, and I'm sure the pilot started to panic. It started firing at us. Even though we were clearly not a military transport, our driver tried to maneuver around it, but the vehicle took a hit and we were all thrown out of it. It was frustrating. I felt so powerless, 
All my training at the police academy didn't help one bit. I threw myself on top of Ken and Nana, swearing I'd make sure at least they survived. And then... A gray shadow swooped down on us. It looked like a giant statue of a knight had come to life. With one swing of its sword, it cut off the gunship's rotor, letting it land a ways away. And just like that, we were saved. Are you alright? Is anyone injured? I heard the voice of a young man coming from inside the giant knight. I found out later. That was the first official mission of the man now known as the Ashen Chevalier. Now the prince looks like kind of like looks like a douche. Fucking Sienna. Very well. Oh dear lord.
Hmm. It goes up to something. Who else did you think it would be, Governor Ragnitz?
Of course.
Bruh. This one's strong! Be careful! Ah! My turn! Damn! Yes! Ha! I'm going! Yeah! Now! Take this! Ah! Let's go! Oh, you got people now! Ah! Leave it to me. Come. It's my turn. Ha! No problems. Let's continue.
<laughs> All right. That being said. Oh boy. Come on, how am I supposed to plan around something like this? A moment. Since I have this chance, I'd like you to relay a message to the Chancellor and Rufus for me. Though my wings have been stolen and my blade lost, I yet have the gun and the rose kept safely in my heart. If you lose your way and take this nation in a poor direction with you, I shall send you another message. Your Highness. Message received, Your Highness. <laughs> With that concluded, let us away to the field exercise camp. Okay. Yes!
Oh dear lord. I've wanted to thank him this whole time, but I couldn't. I couldn't do anything to save my family. I felt so powerless, and I ended up pinning my frustration on him. And that's what led to this. I see. I understand now. Yuna, you just want Instructor Reen to acknowledge you. <laughs> I think I'm the same. When I accompanied him on his missions, I was tasked with monitoring and supporting him. But he treated me like a child, kept risking himself to protect me, and took on all the burdens himself. I felt so useless. I'm no different. All I've wanted is for him to recognize my sword skills. I know I still have far to go, but I feel like what happened in Sutherland helped me grow at least a little. Yuna, I believe this is your opportunity to grow. Huh? Instructor Reen left you a message. I'll play it now. Yuna, the members of the Special Support Section are, without a doubt, heroes. I can't help but think each one of them are truly great people. Him included. But are you okay with simply looking up to them forever? Right now, they're trapped. Unable to protect their home. So who's going to be the one to protect Crossbell in their absence? spell in their absence. Oh. 
He has no idea. I see a powerful enemy. Take caution.
Hello there, Reen. You found some new records? Very well. I'll start deciphering them. Leave it to me. Let's get going. Understood. But are you okay with simply looking up to them forever? Right now, they're trapped, unable to protect their home. So who's going to be the one to protect Crossbell in their absence? Seriously? He's always... so... Hm. I know that already. Does he really think I need to hear any of that crap from him? <laughs> from the sound of it, we're ready to go now. We already have the location, so... Come on, we wasted enough time here. Let's get going already. Huh? You say, and Dash? What are you doing here? Got permission from Randolph to tag along. As for me, I asked Instructor Toa to assign me as your support. I would have come too if I were able. Me too. Oh, if only I was able to fight. Louise and Jessica are one thing, but... How long were you two listening?
Let's prepare for war! Now let's go forth and conquer. Are you kidding me? Or you can just sing it now. Should they fail, that's my cue, I suppose. I'd prefer to not miss a chance to stretch my legs a bit, but... Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Show me just what you can do. I have a feeling that I need to know who that dude is. Seems to be. Let's be careful, everyone. Okay, let's see here. There! Yeah!
Oh, that's a nice looking treasure chest. You're going. You're dying. Hey ya! Sick! Huh. You're Sick! You're dead too. This one looks there. frightening. A strong enemy! Be careful! Ah. My turn! Huh. I'm going! There! Yes! There! Let's go! Huh. My turn! There! Now! An opening! I'm going! Ah. Now's our chance! Take this! It's my turn! Ha! <sighs> the coast is clear. I see a powerful enemy. There! Take... I won't fall! Go up in flames? Fire! Now's our chance! An opening! Let's go! Sit! Yes! There! Yes! There! Leave it to me. It's my turn. Sit. All right. Nice work. Oh, what a wonderful looking treasure chest. Ready! Finally some daylight. Is the Sit. camp that way? I wonder how Class 7 is doing. We've placed our trust in them. They'll be fine. A lovely sentiment from one Class 7's heart to another.
Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser, huh? Can't be. Seems like there's more. There's always more. There! Put your butt down. This one looks great. A strong enemy! Be careful! Huh. My yeah, turn! Gary. Yeah. Now! An opening! And... Leave it to me! There! Dead. No problems. Let's continue. Fight us a monster. 
you know. Treasure chest. This one looks frightening. Hey I won't fall! Get back! Leave it to me! Take this! Here! Attack! My turn! There! Now! An opening! It's my turn! Ugh. Now! Take this! Let's go! Ah. Everyone okay? Oh! There's some treasure! Door staircases. The view is nice. Were our circumstances not so dire, I may be inspired to burst into song at the sight. The waves of mana are getting stronger. Not much longer till we reach the rooftop. Let's go. It's my turn. Yeah. Now's our chance. Take this. My turn. Yeah. Now's our chance. An opening. It's my turn. Huh. Yes. There. They're down. Attack. It's my turn. There. Now! Take this! <laughs> Good job, Emma. That was wonderful, Machias.
This one's strong. Be careful. Second form, Gale! Yes! You won't get away. Molten Storm! Yes! Break through! I'm going! Yeah! Now's our chance! Take this! My turn. Huh. Now! Now, everyone! Got it! Got it! Yes! Ha! Ha! Yeah. Good work, everyone! <laughs> Fabulous! Now we march up there like a badass. There they are. Didn't expect you all here so soon. You used a few sneaky little tricks to find this place, didn't you? The thoughts and wishes of a number of people led us here. It might seem strange to see Erebonians come here to stop you. But we simply can't allow you to run free any longer. I shall help put a stop to your schemes here, just as I did four years ago with your gospel plan. Huh? Wait, you... Four years ago, hmm? And those clothes... <laughs> <laughs> really? This is just too much! What are you doing running around in that outfit again, Prince Olivert? Say what? The hell's the Imperial Prince doing here? I can't say I don't understand your surprise. All this while he's supposed to be leading the inspection team, no less. <laughs> now, now, everyone. I'm nothing more than a simple bard who's come to express his passionate feelings for Crossbell in his own way. I know Miss Witch is no longer accompanying you, but I'm surprised to find the Phantom Thief absent as well. When I heard that you lot were on the move, I naturally assumed he would show himself. <laughs> well, as I said before, there's a lot going on in the society at the moment. He got along with Abyss, so we had him sit this one out. We need to make sure neither of them decide to get in the way of us taking back the Phantasmal Blaze plan. <gasps> 
So, it all comes back to that. If you're planning on targeting Vita, then I won't sit back. We'll also have you tell us about this plan you're willing to go to such lengths for. Emma... <laughs> That's the spirit. Yes. To get closer to uncovering the mystery we were left with at the Infernal Castle. And to blow away the dark clouds covering the Empire in Crossbell. We shall shoot down your little experiment right here and now. <laughs> I'm starting to burn up! We might need to get a little serious if we're going to take you all on. Very well. We, Enforcers Number Zero and Number One of Ouroboros, shall be your opponents. Let's see what you've got. Can you draw the black flames out from me? All members of Class 7, and Olivier as well, fight them with everything you have! Yeah! yeah. But of course. Come on, get me fired up! Class 7 and the debaucherous prince, hmm? It's down! It's mine! <laughs> Leave it to me. You won't get away. Molten Storm! <laughs> Leave it to me! Petrifying shells loaded! You're not Whoa. going anywhere! Little. Yes! Uh, Owie! Now! Take Owie. this! Not bad. Maybe I'll get a little serious. I'm up! Sir! <sighs> yes! And uh. <laughs> Not bad. It's my turn! There! Blame. Leave it to me! Ha! <sighs> They're down! Attack! Blame! <laughs> Not bad! Not in my watch! Burn to the ground! <sighs> Good luck! Thanks! Unforgivable! Yes! Go up in flames? Now! An opening! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was great. Just like I remember. Yeah, just like old times. <laughs> you guys are pretty good now. Way better than at the Infernal Castle. Sheesh! It's fine if you're excited. But if you go overboard, you'll end up destroying the tower, too. Can't stand the heat? Then get out of the kitchen. I'm still a bit ticked off that Abyss hasn't shown herself yet. Gotta work out this frustration somehow. Don't worry, I won't burn the big guy back there. <laughs> Fine. Guess there's no stopping you. <gasps> He's coming. I know. I remember this intense power. The Blazing Demon. So this is the power the Viscount faced. Celine, help me! Right. We'll seal those black flames away somehow! Been waiting for this for over a year! Make me turn up the heat! 
just as much as the Radiant Blade Master did! <laughs> Let's go wild together! You asked for it. Let's do it then. Uh, spirit Unification! Let's go! Roar! Uh, Helix Strike! You will. My turn. Yeah. Now's our chance! An uh. opening! Leave it to me! Ha. Uh. Here! Attack! Uh. And that's how you get it done. Even better than I expected. Well done, Ashen Kid, little witch. The debaucherous prince and the other two weren't half bad either. Yeah, I'm really feeling it now. What do you say we keep this dance going? Good grief. Did you forget what we're even here for? <sighs> we were able to hold back his flame somehow. But we won't be able to last much longer. He truly is a demon. How did the Viscount fight this monster by himself? Reen, if this keeps up... Yeah, I have no choice. Heed my call. Valor! Whoopsie. Still can't let you do that. A spiritual barrier? Oh, this again! Emma, can you break it? I can, but then I won't be able to hold back the fire. <laughs> Enough waiting. Let's get on with it already. <laughs> Bitten off more than you can chew, maybe. Thor's class seven. You were better than I'd heard. But it seems like this is your limit. I suppose we'll need to wait for Abyss or the others to... They're not the only Class 7! Ha! Whoa there! Yuna! Kurt! And Muse! Huh? Black Rabbit. Suck on this! Yeah! Haltina! Ash! Sorry for the wait, Instructor. New Class 7 has arrived with backup. <laughs> We're here to rescue you! We managed to catch them off guard. Oh, man! <laughs> Did that guy seriously go down in just one hit? You, you all came! I'm grateful, but this situation is much too... It's dangerous here! Please, get back! <laughs> Not bad at all. You've got some potential, Blondie. Ah, shit. Probably shouldn't think of him as human. <laughs> Is your dramatic entrance all done now? I applaud your spirit, but that won't be enough. Don't underestimate us. We'll show you what the new Class 7 and the Branch Campus are capable of. Beacon installation complete. Guidance systems online. The wireless connection with the Dare Flinger is complete too. Well, come on! Call him over already! Tita, no! We're ready! Understood.
Boost Carrier Ignite! Three, two, one, zero! Drop in two, lift off! Oh, wow! <laughs> Amazing! So this is the new technology Reinford and ZCF have been working on. These children certainly are impressive. Instructor! Come on! Got it! Acknowledged. Come on now. For real? <laughs> I suppose we didn't take them seriously enough. But we've finally met the conditions now. It's moving! It looks different than it did yesterday. Very astute. You see, it didn't have nearly enough mana stored up then. Today things are different, however. Why, it may even be able to use its armament. It's been a while since I was in here last. This opponent doesn't seem like it's going to go down easy. Are you sure you can defeat it? It's smaller than the one I fought before, but it seems to have much more mobility. I sense a strange flow of mana in this one. Let's observe it and proceed with caution. Understood, Rin. Instructor, let me help! I guess it's pointless to try and stop you, huh? That's right. No way I'm sitting this out. I'm going to show you my crossbelt pride, no matter what! Huh? This is... I had a feeling this would happen. Indeed. This is a new power of your own making. Oh, he told me about this. A spiritual link between the old and new Class 7 through the Divine Knight. I can feel them all. Instructor Reen, Yuna, everyone. Yes. This feeling reminds me of Clown Soleus. Oh? Ah, <sighs> damn it. An undeniable connection between the old and new Class 7. They're coming! Everyone, get back! Let's go, Yuna! You bet, Instructor! This will be a tough fight. Be careful! It's my turn! Ha! It's down! An opening! It's my turn! Yeah! Our chance! It's mine! <laughs> my turn! Up. 
Now, bring it on! It's my turn! My turn. They did it! Confirmed. The orbital engine has ceased functioning. Oh, they were both amazing! Yes, they truly were. Huh, not bad. Yeah, we won thanks to everyone's help. Yours especially, Yuna. I hope my pride shone through. Well, I guess we were beat this time. I'm sure the professor won't like it. But it seems the experiment is over. Eh, no big deal. It was expendable anyway. Anyway... Hey! Why don't you three come out of hiding already? What was that? Wait a moment. <laughs> so you noticed after all, hmm? Vita? The Azure Abyss. I didn't realize she was here. No, that's just another one of her projections. Vita! I finally found you! What are you up to? Well, hello there, Emma and Celine. It's good to see you again. The same for Reen, Black Rabbit, and the rest of you. As for your highness and the new Class 7, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am the former diva of the Erebonian Opera House, and the second Anguis of Ouroboros. The Azure Abyss, Vida Clotilde! She's the missing diva? <laughs> I suppose no one would have thought to look for her here. <laughs> As for you, Campanella and McBurn, it's been half a year, maybe? Yeah, since you got voted down and ran off on your own. Tracking you down has been a real pain in the ass, you know. I heard your familiar Grianos got taken out. Which means, in order to send this mirage, you would have to be close by. <laughs> I won't deny it. Perhaps I'm in a bit of a pinch this time after all. Vida! Why? Why didn't you come back to us after you left the society? You even gave Grandmother her staff back! I will remain loyal to my master until my dying breath. In that sense, I will never truly return to the village as a witch of the Hexen clan. No! Her master, the Grandmaster of Ouroboros. That said, the situation has changed lately. There are some things I would like to tell you and Grandmother. 
But putting that aside for now, since I've shown myself, don't you think it's only polite to step out of the shadows too? Huh, <laughs> fair enough. Huh? What? When did he... That orb. <gasps> huh? Who's this masked weirdo? Darflinger, are you getting this? What is this? Another one from Ouroboros? No, judging from the way they're talking... Uh... Instructor Toa, what's wrong? It's nice to meet you all. I'm called Azure Siegfried. I've come here today in lieu of the Chief of the Gnomes. The... the Gnomes? Aren't they... the ones who created the Divine Knights alongside the ancestors of the Hexen Clan? In lieu of the Chief? <laughs> Finally, you show up again! After a year and a half, no. Yours is a group that has been missing from history for hundreds of years. What does she mean, hundreds of years? What the hell is going on right now? It all seems like quite the tale. <laughs> the gnomes. One of the two groups that knows the truth of what happened 1,200 years ago. But this man before us is... Heh, <laughs> about time. Always thought losing you was a bit of a waste, but man, didn't expect you to show up again like this. Oh, you've met him before. Anyway, you look great. You're everything I'd expect from an enemy of Ouroboros. <laughs> I had planned to simply introduce myself, but we can make this more interesting if you'd like, agents of Ouroboros. Those weapons? Sorry, but our experiment's been done for a while now. <laughs> Going at it anymore here is pointless. No need to stick around for cleanup either. What's he doing? Is this an illusion like before? No! Be careful! Those are real flames this time! Huh, this heat is unreal! The blazing demon indeed. His power is absurd. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, we're done here for today. We still got a bag miss witch, too. <laughs> That's right. I nearly forgot. Since I've got a big audience here, I can finally make my grand announcement. I am Enforcer Number Zero, Campanella the Fool. As the Grand Master's representative, I hereby declare our plan to reclaim the Phantasmal Blaze is now in motion. No, oh, he's a fool, all right. Ah. Uh... They're crazy. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to witness such a unique scene. There is no need for further observation. Fall back for now, Siegfried. Understood. You three? So that's what he meant. Was that the chief of the gnomes? That voice, it sounded familiar. Huh? Should be. 
<laughs> well, putting that man aside... I think I like you. Might I call you Sieg? Huh. <laughs> Do as you like. <gasps> There's another one? But it's different from the Divine Knight that showed up in Sutherland. Ashen Awakener, Class 7 of Thor's. Your performance earlier wasn't bad, but you're still a long way from being able to join in on our battle. You'd better brush up your skills before next time. going on <laughs> I suppose I should be excusing myself now if I wait around here any longer I'm sure to be caught wait Vita after seeing all of that you're just going to leave without saying anything if you're being chased by Ouroboros we can help you and <sighs> You don't need to worry about me. I already have people helping me. Also, cryptids and magic knights shouldn't appear in this land again for some time. I've disposed of the pleroma grass that appeared. <laughs> what? But don't forget, the story has already begun. The true story. The one whose ending I failed to change. The fairy tale that tells of the end of Erebonia, Crossbell, the entire world. Be careful, Emma, Reen, and everyone in Class 7. What did I tell you? Always something about destroying the world. no idea but we should know better than anyone that it would be impossible that's true yes we were all there for the burial uh, are you all right elisa you seem like you're in a daze oh i'm fine i think my brain has just gone numb after everything that happened Lisa, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I I'm okay. What about you, Emma? No, she's not. That's right. She's hiding something. You were finally able to see her, but... No, I'm okay. I'm just glad I was finally able to see her face after such a long time. More importantly, we can see a little more of the big picture now than we could before. It seems to be related to all of our futures somehow. Yeah. The true story? The fairy tale that tells of the end? <sighs> Puzzling words indeed. Man, we pulled out all the stops to help. But even then, we barely made it through. Yes, as things escalate, it's becoming clearer and clearer that we're in over our heads. <sighs> hey now, what's with all the long faces? That's right. Stand tall, everyone! Huh? <laughs> Quite so. 
Were it not for your aid, we never would have been able to bring things to a conclusion. Yeah, your timing was perfect. <laughs> and I'm glad to see you were able to make such good use of the equipment I gave you. Yes, and it's thanks to you breaking the barrier that Reen was able to call <coughs> Valimar. Well, when you put it that way, I guess they can be a little proud. Ah. <sighs> Thanks to you, I was able to fulfill my orders. Yuna, Kurt, Altina, you too, Ash and Muse. You all did a great job. <sighs> but the members of the new Class 7 were the real stars of the show. Yuna was the one who worked the hardest. Agreed. You and Instructor Reen fighting that Ion was a sight to behold, Yuna. I, I was just trying to keep up with him the whole time. There's no need to be humble. It was clear to me that you put everything you had into that battle. The skills you learned from the police academy, your hard work at the branch campus, and all of your thoughts and wishes for your homeland. <sighs> Thank you, Yuna. You showed me the true pride of Crossbell. Instructor! And did she find herself? Maybe. Don't know! To be seen off by the royal family is truly more than we deserve. <laughs> oh, don't concern yourself. Considering what you all accomplished this time, we're in your debt. Oh, your highness. <laughs> As usual, she knows how to please a crowd. <laughs> If we had more time, I would have liked to introduce you to those who were trapped in Michelin. They have all been freed, I trust? Yes, of course. I was able to contact Noel, Chief Sergei, and Dudley. They say Ellie and Speaker McDowell have returned safely to the city. I see. <sighs> what a relief. Oh, Ellie! I've met her before. You said you were going to see her after this. Right, Elisa? That's right. We're planning to discuss economic and technological policies. I've heard a lot of rumors about her, but this will be my first time actually meeting her, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I can see the two of you getting along real well. Based on what I've heard, she seems to have a number of hobbies, much like yourself. <sighs> I'm glad to see you've recovered, Sharon. Yeah, me too. It seems like your burns weren't very severe. <laughs> My recovery is due to the thorough care the doctors at St. Ursula gave me. I'm terribly sorry I was unable to be of use to everyone at such a crucial time. Gosh, I already told you, it's fine! Anyway, it seems like Ouroboros has their own weird drama going on. Indeed. The second Anguis is being pursued, and the Phantom Thief kept away. Yes. I guess we'll need to look into what's going on with them a bit more. Are you sure about this, Emma? Is it really okay for Celine to come with us now? <laughs> I should be fine by myself for a while. That aside, you need to figure out how to get that power of yours under control. But don't worry, I'll train you. Alright, thank you. Take care. Let me know if anything comes up. I will. Celine, please take good care of Reen. Yeah, just be careful. 
you're going to stay in Crossbell for a while, right, Machias? Yeah, this is where the real inspection work starts. I probably need to have a talk with my father as well. And finally, I want to speak with Governor General Rufus about Eusis. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no matter what you say, you two are close, aren't you? <laughs> I'm only doing him a favor now so I can rub it in his face later. <laughs> it went by so quickly. Yeah, but we'll see each other again before long. You're going to stay in Crossbell for a few days too, right, Elisa? Yeah, I'm thinking about heading back with Mother. There are a lot of things I want to ask her about. Those railway cannons, for example. My lady. I see. <laughs> Don't worry. After all, I'm the manager in charge of the development division. Let's each do our part in a way that only Class 7 can. I'm sure this will help us fulfill our promise, too. Alisa. You're right. Yes. Yeah, this is where we need to push through. <laughs> I don't know just how much more assistance I'll be able to give, but I intend to fight to the end, in my own way. Also, you have my thanks. For going along with the selfish wishes of the wandering bard Olivier Lenheim. We have a lot to thank you for, too. You built the framework for Class 7. And we'd like to continue it, in our own way. I'm glad to hear it. I look forward to seeing what all of you accomplish. As for the members of the new Class 7, I'm glad I was able to meet you. I feel the stirrings of a new wind from you all, different from your predecessors. Please keep giving it your all. You as well, Tita. Uh, yes! You honor us. Understood. <laughs> we'll do our best! Reen, everyone, please stay safe. This visit made me realize a great many things. Much like all of you, I don't intend to give up either. Princess Alfin? It's very reassuring to hear that. <laughs> but that aside, I'm dying to find out whether Reen is going to invite me to dance at the Summer Festival. Huh? Asking the princess to dance at the Summer Festival? That means... <laughs> it means one day, he might end up as more than just the princess's dance partner. Instructor. Is that how it is? Uh, no. I'm sure Her Highness is just kidding. Right? <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> That's quite enough playing around. You're overreacting too, Rain. Um. Alisa. Emma, Machias, thank you so much for helping my brother. As his sister, I'm truly happy to see your bonds with him have grown even stronger. <laughs> Elise. <laughs> thank you, too. Hmm, you really have grown so much since I last saw you, Elise. <laughs> we have to make sure we don't get left in her dust. Ah, uh, alas, it's true. It really is no fun teasing her lately. But... That makes catching her with her guard down all the sweeter. Oh. Also, everyone from the branch campus. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to properly greet you. But I'm planning to visit your campus sometime and say hello. Oh, really? <laughs> You're welcome anytime. <laughs> yeah, more than welcome. I wish to make amends, so I'll be waiting for you. Make amends for what, exactly? Man, they sure do remind me of our group, huh? Yes, I'm a little envious. But I still believe we can get back what we've lost. Of course. Let's keep working at it, Tio Tot. If you say so, Randy. Tio Tot. Really? I'll see 
you two later. Say hi to mom and dad for me. I'll send lots of letters. So be good and take care. Okay? Okay. See you later, Yuna! Bye-bye, Cardinali! We'll see you again sometime. Farewell. Are you sure it's all right for you to come back with us? Shouldn't you stay in Crossbell? <sighs> yeah. I was appointed to the branch campus because of a recommendation from the Governor General. I know the real reason behind it. That's why I've been dodging it. But, uh, once I heard Shirley and the Red Constellation were creeping around in the Empire, I felt like I had no choice but to accept. What an awful thing to have happen. The Governor General was trying to send you as far away as possible so he couldn't interfere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But maybe it was the right thing to do anyway. Huh? Both on the surface and behind the scenes, Crossbell's mixed up in everything that's about to go down in Erebonia. So, I might as well give some covering fire. From way over in the Empire in a little town called Leaves. While I keep the students there in line. I'm glad. It's the same with me. Just like Randy said, if something happens to Erebonia, Crossbell will get dragged into it too. So for my family's sake, and the sake of everyone else in Crossbell, I decided to protect my home. In a different way from Lloyd and the others. And now, I feel like maybe there's a future. Where people from both Crossbell and Erebonia can laugh together as friends. Now I'm really, really glad. I see. You're certainly impressive. Compared to the way you were the other day, you're a completely different person now. <laughs> you're gonna make something of yourself, Uni. I can tell. Hey, are you all just making fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> mm, You're too good at this. Huh? Is that Yuna, Randy, Rain? Huh? The Divine Blade of Wind, too. <laughs> Guess they were able to break out of the birdcage, huh? I say. Well, ladies and gents, I think we are going to end it here. If you like what you saw, click that like Your rank button. has increased. Tickle subscribe. Here's your reward. And I may end up doing a little bit more. I'm hoping to get this done before the number four comes out, but you know, we'll see how that goes with everything that's going on and all. But, uh, 
so far so good, making pretty good progress. I like to say so myself. The top score. <laughs> Excellent. Thirsty woman. <laughs> That's her name for nickname for everyone. For now on, you say forever be named the thirsty one. Good God, is she thirsty for ring? Uh, as I said, ending it here. So, take a like, subscribe, and, you know, we may do some more. We'll see. But until then, players and playettes, gamers and gamers, stay classy, stay up.